Interphase. Longest part of the cell cycle. The nucleus divided into two nuclei and the DNA replicates. It also replicates the centrosome. The chromosomes also replicate. Prophase. The part of the cell cycle that the replicated chromosomes thicken and become visible. The chromatin coil and condense. Also, the chromatin condenses into chromosomes. Prometaphase. The nuclear envelope breaks down and microtubes attach to the chromosomes. The chromatids are also pulled apart. Metaphase. Chromosomes align in the center of the cell. Centromeres regions connecting paired chromatids become aligned in a plane of the cell equator. Anaphase. The sister chromatids separate. Centromere pairs from each chromosome separate and the single chromatids move toward the poles. Telophase. Daughter chromosomes arrive at the poles. Separating chromosomes reach the poles. New nucleus forms at each end. Cytokinesis begins. Cytokinesis. Cell is cleaved into two new daughter cells. Prophase 1. Each duplicated condensed chromosome pairs with its homolog. Homolog swap segments called crossing over. Each chromosome becomes attached to microtubes of newly forming spindle fibers. Crossing over. Each chromosome becomes zippered to its homolog. All four chromatids are closely aligned. Non-sister chromatids exchange segments. Metaphase 1. Chromosomes are pushed and pulled into the middle of cell. Sister chromatids of one homolog orient toward one pole and those of other homolog toward opposite pole. The spindle fiber is now fully formed. Telophase 1. The chromosomes arrive at opposite poles. The cytoplasm divides. There are now two haploid cells. This completes meiosis 1. Prophase 2. Microtubules attach to the kinetic chores of the duplicated chromosomes. Mor motor proteins drive the movement of chromosomes toward the spindle's equator. Metaphase 2. All of the duplicated chromosomes are lined up at the spindle equator, midway between the poles. Anaphase 2. Sister chromatids separate to become independent chromosomes. Motor proteins interact with microtubules to move the separated chromosomes to opposite poles. Telophase 2. The chromosomes arrive at opposite ends of the cell. A nuclear envelope forms around each set of chromosomes. The cytoplasm divides. There are now four haploid cells.